Number seven says to draw two congruent angles, so do that right here. I'll try to make them equal, but to indicate that, I'm going to make this mark right here, a little line, and that indicates that those are congruent to each other. Number eight, I need to make an angle and name it, so I'll make this angle, and it has to be obtuse, so I'll make one ray that way and one ray that way. I'm going to put these little arrows on the ends of the rays, like that, to show that those continue. And now I'm going to just try to draw the best I can the letters G, ooh, that was bad, U, Y. The U has to be right here in the middle because it's right here. Okay, right now, down here, I'll make the angle gal and make it acute. And I'll put a point right here and I'll make a G right here. I'll make an A and right here an L. So this is less than 90 degrees and is G-A-L. And for number 10, I'm going to make two angles. So I'll go back to my line tool. And I'll try to make them look about the same. But again, if I make an arc, and this time maybe I'll put two lines make an arc right here, oops, two lines, that means that they are congruent, that's what that symbol means right there, congruent, and now I'm going to have to put a J, K right here, K is the middle letter, so it has to be the vertex, and L, and this one will have to be a P, and O, M. The P and the M could switch, the J and the L could switch, the G and the L could switch, the Y and the G could switch, but the middle letter has to be the vertex. For 11, a right angle that can be identified using three names. I'll just draw a angle and put a, B, C, we could call this angle A, B, C, we could call it angle C, B, A, or we can call it angle B. And for number 12, two adjacent right angles. It's going to look just like this. I'm going to make a straight line and another straight line. Adjacent means that they share this ray. And so this angle is 90 degrees. We'll make a little symbol right here for 90 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. So they're, that means they're right angles and they're adjacent because they share, that right there makes them adjacent. Okay, uh, go back to blue. Okay, 13, two congruent angles that share a vertex. If I just cross, oops, I switched colors. If I just cross two lines, then they share this vertex. And that angle is automatically the same measure as that angle. So we can put like a little mark like that. And for number 14, if I just make a straight line and put three points on it and label those P, Q, and R, that is a straight line. Straight means 
180 degrees. So that is a straight angle. For number 15, these two angles are congruent. I, t I know that because of those symbols right there. So I can say that 60 degrees equals this right here, whatever that is, x plus 12. So I'm just going to do an equation, x plus 12 equals 60. I'm going to subtract 12 to make a zero pair. Subtract 12 from both sides. And I'll put it down here, x equals 48. This symbol means that this angle is a right angle. That means that's 90 degrees. So I can say that this value that's been given to x minus 10 is equal to 90. And now I have a two-step equation. So I'm going to add 10. It's a good review of solving equations. And add 10 to both sides to make a zero pair. And now I have 2x equals 100. And I'm going to make a coefficient of 1 by dividing by 2. And x is equal to 50. This says an angle SML is an acute angle. If the measure of angle SML is x equals, or excuse me, x minus 7 degrees, what must x be less than? So let's assume that angle SML, what if it was 90? That's just a little bit bigger than acute. Anything less than 90 is going to be acute. So let's go all the way up to just a little bit more. So that would mean that the measure of this angle, x minus 7, is equal to 90. So let's solve this one-step equation by adding 7. So that means x is equal to 97. So if x was equal to 97, it would not be acute. It would be right. But anything less than 97, it would be acute. So we can say that x has to be less than, and we'll do this less than 97.